switch if you want. You can take that video camera and go see where Tim is. Alrighty. As Mitch comes to check on me, I explain to him what I just experienced. Mitch, I just saw a white shadow. Really? Yes. First one was right here. You're coming along. First one was right here, standing right here, mm -hmm. looking here, asking questions. And right where you're standing, I heard chains jingling. Like, you know how, like, there's chains on a wallet that, like, a biker would mm -hmm. wear? That's what I heard right where you're standing, right there. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing here that would have chains on it. And then it kind of sounded like over here, but no, nothing. And then I'm like, well, show yourself. Is that the best you can do? And then I was here, but I was standing here, mm -hmm. and, I, and right there I saw a white, uh, some kind of white mist. Uh, and if you stay right there, this is what it did. My camera was facing over that way mm -hmm. because I was looking this way for the the noise I heard with the chains mm -hmm. and it was like this it was like looking at me and then went like that but it was just white so I'm like whoa you know I ran over here to look and there's just nothing but chairs here and I don't know if it could have gone in the kitchen or what right but I don't know if it was caught on here because I was facing the camera towards the front door because of the chains. Well, let's hope we caught something on one of the recorders. And I had this going the whole time since we started. Uh, and the house with my EMF detector, it's normal, uh, normal readings. I, I wasn't really getting any responses until I said show yourself and then I heard the chains and then the, the little white cloud. It was right, right where you're standing. Well, we got the camera set up over there, so right. let's hope that that maybe picked up something. All right, you want to go back to them? After reviewing the sonar video, I captured what seems to be movement, as if something came up the hallway, then back down and disappears. As you can see, the night vision camera did not capture any shadows or movement at this exact time. Could this have been the white shadow that ran away when I chased it? We don't know for sure. Hi. Okay, we're going to go to the cemetery now to meet Tim. Just going to let this run. This was when Chris and his team left the house to come meet me before we started our investigation that night. They left the cameras running with no one in the house and about 10 minutes after they left we heard what sounds like footsteps shuffling then a door slamming. We caught it on both cameras audio. At one point, while Chris was walking into the kitchen, he heard some whispers. The enhanced audio is after his reaction. Hey guys, did someone just whisper? No. After hearing the whispers, they started an EVP session and also captured this. Alright, I got the button pushed. Alright, I got the button pushed. 
Alright, I got the mutton push. Alright, I got the mutton push. This is Mitch doing a solo investigation. We all took turns investigating the house alone, and everyone had their own experiences. They also heard all of the similar sounds that I did. Is there anybody here? If there's anybody here, make a noise. Did you move those wind chimes earlier? Maybe open up one of the cupboards? Show me you're here. Somebody else wanna walk out there? I will. How about you, uh, you or CJ? Or are you not comfortable? No, I'll go right now. Yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> Job for Tyler. Right. Did you follow me out here? Are you out in the dining room with me? It's just me, you shouldn't be intimidated by anybody anymore. There's a motion detector on the living room floor. Can you walk by it and make it go off? Come show me that you're here. I'm starting not to believe that you're real. I think you're scared. Yeah, I'm trying to make you mad. Are you getting mad? Do you want these people to leave? Come out and pull on my shirt. Show me that you're here. I'm not afraid of you. Seems like you like to bother people that are afraid of you. Come out here and show me why I should be afraid of you. You hear an EVP after CJ asks it to come out right before he starts feeling cold chills. We believe it's saying, okay. Here is the enhanced audio. Is that you? Are you here with me now? Am I bothering you? I hope I am bothering you. Is anyone still in here, in this room? I was now in the bedroom starting an EVP session. Come speak to this red light, it won't hurt you. Tell us anything you want us to know. There's still somebody in here. Touch one of us, move something, make some kind of a noise to tell us that you're really here. After Mitch asks for something to touch us, I felt my pants being tugged on from behind me. Can you take a picture here? Something just tugged on my jeans. I'm not touching the dresser, am I? 
Mm -hmm. Well, that's two feet away. Nothing's on the floor, right? Mitch, where are you? I'm right here. Here, hold on to that. It's still recording. Okay. Yeah, I was standing right here. Felt like something went like this. We decided to give our eyes a rest, so we started a spirit box session in the bedroom. How many of you are here? Do you know anybody here? Does it seem like it's the same voice? It was getting late and the activity seemed to have slowed down, so we decided that it was time for us to gather our equipment. While we packed up, I thanked Chris and his team for an interesting night and hope that we could join up and investigate together again in the future. Port Byron holds some very old history. Could those early settlers still be lingering here in Port Byron? We may never know for sure. But after everything we experienced here tonight, we feel that this house holds some very strong and unique energy within its walls. Join us next time when we go in search of more paranormal finds.